Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be discussing certain important problems from JFL and Nance book. Now let's begin with chapter 4 functional group transformation, oxidation and reduction. Now let's see this problem. We need to find the product. So we will do step by step mechanism, okay? Firstly, TBSCL. What is TBSCL? It is tart butyl dimethyl silyl chloride. Okay, I will draw the structure of this one. Silyl dimethyl chloride and tetrahydrofuran and imidazole. What is imidazole? It acts as a base. Okay, here it acts as a base. Now consider this base will have to abstract a proton. Okay, so it is the most acidic proton. So it will abstract this proton and negative charge will be on the oxygen atom. Further, this is going to again attack at the silicon and chloride will. Chloride is a good living group so it will live and thus it will give the product as I will write in short TBS okay so this will be the product first then then let's go to the next step now dibel H what is the function of dibel H it will the function of let me write dibel H the function of dibel H it is the it will convert the ester group into alcohol aldehyde okay it will convert the ester group to aldehyde so this will be the final product of this reaction move on to the next example okay so what will be the product of this reaction let's do the mechanism Now, firstly, we have to treat with lithium aluminum hydride. So, there is a lactone. So, what will lithium aluminum hydride do? It will convert it into alcohols. Two parts, two alcohol will be formed. With lithium aluminum hydride, the product will be first. OH, then another. OH will be there and this is as usual okay further what is the next 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 reaction will be occurring this is me to coma let me write it first let me write it in the simpler way 2me ome and ome even though if you don't know how this reaction will occur see Firstly, I can say you that this one is this one is for protection of 1,2 diol. Okay, but if you don't know that it is for 1,2 diol reaction, then you can make some idea that it can attack here and one OME will leave, and also this lone pair over the oxygen will again attack there, and another OME will leave. Further, it will give a five-membered ring. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so what will be the product? So this is going to be the product okay and this OH will remain as usual. So this will be the product of this reaction okay. Now let's move on to another example okay. Now we have to find the product of this reaction okay. Firstly it is given MnO2 in presence of dichloromethane. So what is the role of MnO2? It acts as an oxidizing agent. So it will convert alcohol to aldehyde okay. MnO2 is mainly used for oxidation of benzylic and this one is allylic system okay so here it will become aldehyde and here OAC will remain as such 
next step it is for the protection of carbonyl group okay this one is for the pro diol this one one three diol is for the protection of carbonyl system okay i will show you what will be the product here the other group will remain as such okay no change will be there I will write in the full way okay OAC OCO CH3 and here it acts as a protecting group so so this will be the formation in the cell after adding this one now after that KOH is added okay we know KOH is a base but at the same time it can also act as a nucleophile too okay so here it will act as a nucleophile and it will attack here in the carbonyl carbon it will go up again the charge will come down again this bond will break and negative charge will be in the oxygen atom so it will give the protection will be as like and here O minus will be there this O minus will further again abstract a proton from the solvent itself so it will become OH okay it will then become OH further in the next step what it has been given PCC right so what is the role of PCC it acts as an oxidizing agent also okay so it will oxidize alcohol to aldehyde okay so the final product we are getting is this one so this will be the final product of this reaction okay let's see our next question so what will be the final product of this reaction okay let's start it first we have been given NaBH4 okay so what is the role of NaBH4 it selectively reduces the carbonyl group whether it is aldehyde or ketone it will only reduce in this case it will reduce only the ketone okay ketone to alcohol okay and the ester will remain as it is nextly in the next step so what will what will be the reaction okay here firstly the lone pair over this oxygen atom is going to move here and this double bond is going to abstract a proton from the solution okay then it will give O, there will be a double bond forming okay and here will be a positive charge so now the next step comes here as the lone pair on this oxygen atom is going to attack here and the positive charge will then then be removed okay so then product of this reaction will be O and what is this this is after the removal of the uh, double bond this will become tetrahydro pyridine right so we can write it in the short form THP okay you hope you understood this one now in the next case lithium aluminium hydride is given so what is the role of lithium aluminium hydride it will reduce the ester group into alcohol okay and this will remain as it is and it will reduce this to alcohol CH2OH and in the fourth, fourth step it has been given CBr4 in presence of PPH3 I can write directly the product that it is a name reaction that is Apple reaction okay it is a popular name reaction Apple reaction it will the product will be THP CH2 there will be a bromine now I will show you how this reaction has formed okay how this product has been formed firstly the lone pair phosphorus is going to attack the bromine okay then the bond will go and a carbonion is going to form okay and it will become this further on reaction with the alcohol this alcohol I am representing this alcohol in terms of R CH2OH okay 
so on treatment of the alcohol what it forms actually this carbon ion is going to abstract the proton first okay then this bond will break and a negative charge will be generated in the oxygen further this negative charge is going to attack the positive charge in phosphorus and this bromine will leave okay then it will give in the formation of this product then the bromine which is left is again going to attack this time okay so where where the bromine is going to attack at the at the ch2 this this with the air and this bond will break and it will give in the formation of ph3 double bond o so thus we get this as the product here okay rch2br 